Urban self-supply can be defined as households in cities and towns sourcing their own water. Self-supply is a common practice in urban and peri-urban Africa. Technologies include springs, dog wells and boreholes, all using groundwater. Self-supply sources are critical for people not connected to piped water supplies and those who are inadequately served. Available data underestimate the actual use of groundwater point sources. This paper presents a method to estimate the urban population using groundwater obtained by a self-supply for the entire African continent, excluding islands. This GIS-based method estimates both the maximum and likely urban population using self-supply groundwater. The maximum urban population, GM, in the paper was estimated by considering physical characteristics of the groundwater system. In other words, the presence of an aquifer, aquifer potential, and depth to groundwater. The likely urban population, GL, in the paper was estimated by also considering proximity to surface water, groundwater use restrictions, and proxies for socioeconomic status and the spatial extent of the public water supply. To tune the likely urban population estimates, we use three sets of ranges, representing low, average, and high likelihood of using groundwater. The proxy for socioeconomic distribution assumes that low-income areas depend on springs and hand-dug wells, with their use depending on groundwater depths. It also assumes that middle and high-income status areas can also access private boreholes, with their use affected by aquifer productivity. The proxy for the spatial extent of the piped water supplies use something called lag area. This assumes that recent urban developments are less likely to have public water infrastructure and so residents are more likely to depend on self-supply groundwater, provided that it is available. Our results indicated that an estimated of 79% of the total urban population in mainland Africa could potentially use groundwater to meet their domestic needs. When we extrapolate our method across the continent, excluding islands, we estimate that around 32% of the urban African population, or 150 million people, are likely to use groundwater obtained via self-supply. Our model does not capture the full range of variability in groundwater self-supply practices. Notably, full groundwater potential is often not used, and so we believe that a parameter for groundwater awareness is missing in our model. This paper helps us to understand the scale and magnitude of potential and likely groundwater use for self-supply in urban continental Africa. Clearly, household investments are significant and they should be recognised as such. So we call for the political leadership to respond to this reality in the development of policies, supportive practices and consideration of public investment.